everyone and welcome to America Reads Fun Learning Activities. We are college students who create learning activities for kids. Our fun activities are focused on reading, writing, and math. Thank you for joining us to learn today. My name is Mackenzie and in today's video we are going to learn about word relationships and figurative language. Up first we are going to go over the definitions of all the types of word relationships and figurative language that we're going to cover in this video. So let's get to it. The first thing I have for you today is synonym, which is a word relationship. A synonym is a word or phrase that has the exact or similar meaning of another word or phrase. A simple example I have for you guys today are small and little, which mean basically the same thing. On the opposite side, we have antonyms, which are words opposite in meaning. So how I use small and little as examples of synonyms, we have small and its opposite word, big. This is a type of word relationship as is synonym. Another word relationship is hononyms. These are words that have the same spelling or pronunciation, but have different meanings. An example of this is book, which could be an object that you read or the action of making a reservation. Another word relationship we have is part to whole. This word relationship is seen when referring to words that are pieces or a portion of something that is related to the total object. For example, leaf to plant. A leaf is a small part of a plant. So this is a part to whole relationship between these two words. Our last word relationship we're going to cover today is rhyme. This simply means that the end sound of the words are the same. The example I have today is light and height. As you can see, they both have that "-ite sound at the end, which makes them rhyme. Now we're going to cover the definitions of figurative language. Up first, we have similes. A simile is a figure of speech that compares two things using the words like or as. A common simile I have for you guys today is, they fought like cats and dogs. It is comparing whoever is fighting with the action of cats and dogs. And we know that it's a simile because it uses this comparing word like. Up next, we have metaphor, which is a figure of speech that makes a comparison between two things, which is similar to a simile, but it does not use the words like or as. It usually just has is. For instance, time is money. We know that time is not actually money, which makes it a figure of speech, and it is comparing time and money. Next up, we have hyperbole. This is a figure of speech that uses extreme exaggeration to make a point. The example I have today is, his face got so red it looked like it was going to explode. Now we know his face was not actually going to explode, nor did it probably look like it was going to. But we use this exaggeration to show how red, embarrassed or angry, the person was. Up next we have idiom. This is a word combination that has a different figurative meaning than its literal meaning of the words. The example I have for you today is pretty common, which is better late than never. Up next, we have imagery. These are words or phrases used to create mental images for the reader that appeals to the five senses. The example I have for you today is the shiny new car glistened in the moonlight. This creates a picture of that brand new car in the night sky for the reader when they read this sentence. And lastly, we have personification. This is seen when the author gives animals or objects human abilities or qualities. For example, lightning danced across the sky. We know that the lightning did not actually dance across the sky. This is the author giving a non-human or unalive thing a human ability. Now that we know the definitions of all of our common types of word relationships and figurative language, we're going to play a little game. You're going to need flashcards, or alternatively, you can cut out pieces of paper. You're going to need 22 flashcards in total. We are going to write down the titles of each type of word relationship and figurative language. And then I'm gonna have you write down some examples of all of the following things we just covered. Next, we're gonna play a little game in which we try to match them together. So let's get to it. You will need 22 flashcards for this activity. If you don't have flashcards, please just feel free to cut out pieces of paper to use as your cards. On the first 11 cards, we are going to title them the different types of figurative language and word relationships. On your first card, please title it synonym. Your second card, you will want to title antonym. Up next, homonym. 
then part to whole, then rhyme, then simile. Next up is metaphor. Next we have hyperbole. Title your next card, idiom. Your next one, imagery. And your last card, personification. If you need to, please feel free to pause the video and go back and title all your cards. Once you have your title cards, set these aside. You're going to use your next 11 cards to write down an example of either a word relationship or a figure of speech, figurative language. I'm going to show you what to write on these 11 cards. I'm not going to tell you what the answer is quite yet, meaning what word relationship or what figurative language it is showing. On your first card, write break a leg. On your second card, you are going to want to write the cake tasted sugary with hints of cinnamon. On your next card, write aggressive and hostile. On the next card, write he is strong as an ox. The next card, you are going to write the words powerful and influential. On your next card, you are going to write hound and sound. The next card is going to say laughter is the best medicine. On your next card, just write the word bark. Your next card is going to say her smile was a mile wide. The next card is going to say the wind howled in the night. This next card is going to have the words toe and foot. Alrighty, now that you have your example cards along with your title cards, we are going to match them together. I'm going to pull a card and together we are going to figure out what word relationship or figurative language is being shown in the example. Break a leg. This is an idiom. We know that it's a figure of speech and not a word relationship and it does not have just two words. We know it's not a simile because it doesn't use like or as and it's not comparing two things which also means it's not a metaphor. It's not giving any non-human things human abilities. Therefore we know it is an idiom. When you say break a leg you are not actually telling somebody to break their leg but rather good luck. So it has a different figurative meaning than literal meaning. Up next we have the cake tasted sugary with hints of cinnamon. What do you guys think this is? I bet you guessed imagery, which is correct. This is describing something to the reader to make them imagine what is being said as though they were there themselves. So you would match this card with your imagery title card. This is just two words, which means that this is a word relationship. But what word relationship is it? Aggressive and hostile both have similar meanings, which makes it a synonym. This one is a figure of speech, but what figurative language is being used? He is strong as an ox. Well, we can see that he, whoever he may be, is being compared to an ox. So this is either a simile or a metaphor. Which do you think it is? Correct, this is a simile because it uses the word as. We have another word relationship, powerful and influential. What do you think this is? Yes, this is also a synonym because powerful and influential have similar meanings. So match this with your synonym card. We have another word relationship, hound and sound. What word relationship is being displayed here? Correct, rhyme, because they have the same in sound, ound. Match this with your rhyme card. Up next, we have a figure of speech. Laughter is the best medicine. So we know that laughter is being compared to medicine, and we already use simile, and it does not use like or as, which makes us know that this is not a simile. Therefore, it is a metaphor, because two things are being compared with is. This is just one word, bark. This is a homonym, which means it has multiple meanings. It could either mean a dog barking or the outer layer of a tree bark on a tree. Her smile was a mile wide. This is a hyperbole and we know this because it is an exaggeration. Nobody's smile is actually a mile wide but we use this exaggeration to put emphasis on her smile. Up next we have the wind howled in the night. What do you think this is? Well this is personification because we are giving human or alive abilities to a non- human or inanimate object like wind. And lastly, we have a word relationship, toe to foot. This is a part to whole relationship because we are comparing a part of something to the whole, a toe to a foot. And just like that, we have practiced all of our word relationships and figurative language. 
Thank you for joining us today. We hope you come back and learn some more. Please like and subscribe to our channel and we will be back with more fun videos.